Looking for an exciting one in the Pac-12 today. Warm-ups just about concluded. That means the hitting will soon commence. That's going to do it here in the studio, but don't worry. We'll be keeping your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on everywhere else across the country. But right now, it's time for kickoff. And ESPN's college football, Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreet are on the call. It was the host of Super Bowl 19. And now we're in Stanford Stadium to bring you today's game. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler. My partner is Kirk Herbstreit here in the booth. Aaron Andrews joins us on the sideline. We're ready for an exciting game. Today's college football action is brought to you by Dove Men Plus Care. Be comfortable in your own skin. We've got the Washington State Cougars and the Cardinal of Stanford. season this game certainly looks to have all the energy of a championship game and it's almost time for kickoff but first let's send you down to midfield for the coin toss presented by Dove Men Plus Care be comfortable in your own skin Back to Stanford has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Wildcats came into the game ranked sixth. After that performance, they're going to fall like Wiley Coyote off a cliff. The upset is complete. And for Reed... He ended up with two touchdown runs in the game. The Wildcats get the W, 31-24. In other action, in the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic bean everywhere. The Horned Frogs leap to victory, 28-6. Wow, you can feel the shockwave caused by that upset all the way to our game. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. forward to about the 30. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hand off to the back. Look out! He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. It's great first when a running three. attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 43. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 47. From their own 46 yard line. Third down. It's getting louder down in the field. He lets it go. Jacobs is waiting for the snap. And this one is a beauty. 
touchback. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. First down, look at the throw. This one will fall incomplete. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Feeds it to the back. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Jackson comes away with two yards on the carry. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. Drops back to pass. Fires it out. Tackle made at the 32. They had a long, long way to go, and the receiver managed to just get enough to pick up the first down. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on their own thirty-two. Again with a carry. He gets to about the forty-one yard line. That draw to the running back was good for nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. And that'll bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Pino awaits the snap. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it to the 25-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Drops back to pass. He wants it all going long. Oh, and he can't hold on. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Wheeler takes it up the middle. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. From their own 37 yard line. First down. Gives it off. Gets out to around the 48. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it.
First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Tackled after a decent pickup. Wheeler gained seven yards on that play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Everybody standing here on a huge third down and short. And they get nice yardage on that run. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. High-powered offenses everywhere. This is a game we've been watching closely today. Here's a hotly contested battle. The Jayhawks are on top 24-21. Thanks, Reese. No score in this one. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. This one's going deep to the end zone. He goes up and gets it. It's a touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. Splits the uprights with the extra point. So that's a six-play, 76-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 27. They'll get the ball here at the 27-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And down he goes to the 39-yard line. And the short gain is enough for the first. And that tailback definitely has a nose for that first down marker. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. 7-0, Cougars. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Hot. Going deep, lays it out there. Heard the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 39. Hot. 
and they'll run him again. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Jackson gains about five yards on the run. That'll make it 35. From their own 44-yard line, it's third down. He's got it out to his tight end. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Utes arrive at today's game ranked third, but believing they're the top team in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Utes keep pounding away on the ground, and they find pay dirt. The Utes are on top, 28-24. Well, there's some talk this week that we might see some upsets this week. I don't think you could ever expect that to happen, though. First and 10, ball on the 49. Young drops back to pass. He throws left. His receiver didn't have much of a chance to make a play on the ball, so credit the defender for breaking it up. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Hands it to the back. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. The 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven play, 74 yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. You know, I know we live in an era of the spread. And people expect offenses to, to spread you out and throw the football there. But I still believe that the, the ability to move the football has a lot to do with your balance. And right now, what we're seeing from this offense is balance. They're running, they're passing the football, and it's really keeping the defense on its own. We get a tie game at 7 7. Brought down at the 30 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. The halfback with a carry. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Wheeler gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's taken down at about the 33-yard line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. We've got third and eight. Ball on the 33-yard line. Really a factor with the crowd noise here. Slings it. Good tackle there in space. That's the kind of rangy flanker every quarterback wants to be throwing to. He did well to make sure he had enough yardage to pick up the first down. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. He fights forward to around midfield. That brings up second and nine.
Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 50. Looking to throw. Fires quick. Tipped. I like the idea of trying to drop that one in there, but that one might have had a little too much air under it. I don't have a problem with the pass. It was just a superb job by the defender of playing the ball in the air. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 42. The student section's going crazy. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. I like this wide receiver a lot. He knows where he needs to be on the field so the quarterback can get him the ball. He made a terrific play to keep this drive alive. From the 39-yard line, first down. At about the 41. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. He heaves it to the end zone. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. yard line first down quick out to his receiver and he tackles him hard at the 29 what a throw for a big game that is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch short yardage situation here it's second down and one He's looking to pass. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Throws complete. He's got room to work. That's a great tackle at the 38-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that one. Hey, that was a good job here by the quarterback. That could have play fake as a real weapon against an aggressive defense like this. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. They got a hand on it. The intended receiver on the play. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Off to Charlottesville we go. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. From their own 38-yard line. Second down. He zips it. He's at the 40. Catches it. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does. And he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Drops back to pass. 
Strike to his receiver, no good. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. Back to pass. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. Fires out to his wide end. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Back to pass. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. He was looking at the tight end the whole way there. Yeah, the quarterback has to be careful of telegraphing the throw. But, hey, it worked. They scored anyway. Stanford up six and he adds the extra point looks like they're ready for the kick. to the 20. Tackle made at the 28. The offense will start at the 28-yard line. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. He drops back. Wants it all. Going deep. Tackle made at the 25. Washington State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Rawls back to pass here on first down. He's looking for six. That close to being intercepted. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Second and ten. Ball in the 25. Looks to pass. Can they get it? It falls incomplete. He caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. And the stadium is shaking right now. He drops back. He throws right. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. We played a half of football. The Cardinal lead, 
The opening minutes of the third quarter are sometimes the most Jackson important of any game, especially in a game this close. He hits a booming kick. He's to the 10. And he's taken down at the 28. Aaron Andrews has a report now from the sideline. Well, both coaches promised to show a little more of their playbook here in the second half, Brad. They noted that they missed some plays and they could do a better job overall, but told their guys to just stay focused and all the pieces will come together. Guys, in the first half, it was sort of a chicken and egg situation with zero sacks for either team. Were the offensive lines playing that great or were the defensive lines playing that poorly? I suppose we may find out in the second half. Brad, back up to you. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Stanford up seven points. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners enter today's game ranked second in the nation and knowing that they have a target on their back. Here's a hotly contested battle. And for Dukes, He's thrown for a touchdown. Oklahoma has the edge, 7-0. Touchdown difference in this one, Reese, 14-7. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 31. Let's it fly. This one is incomplete. Third is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it 37. Third down and seven. Ball on the 31 yard line. for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. Cook, back to return it. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often does have the ability to make guys miss. The offense will take over at the 30. Halfback gets the call and he answers big time. Brought down right around the 42-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From their own 42 yard line, it's first down. Handoff inside. And down he goes at about the 47 yard line. He gets another he set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. From the 47-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at the 49. It's second and 12. Ball on the 49-yard line. Wheeler takes the give. He's tackling around the 48-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. And 
hands on it and drops it. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. This is a very questionable play call here. I'm not sure I agree with it. He'll get it again. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 23. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Gives it up the gut. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Gives it off. The 10. Nice play to set up first and goal. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Taken down around the three-yard line. They're at the three. Second down. Tackle at the three. The offense is down by seven, so this is a very big third and goal. They're on the two-yard line. And this place is rocking. And they'll get him in the backfield. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And you could feel the intensity and emotion in this stadium. This one has been an amazing battle, and we're right back to square one, assuming this extra point ties it. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He got all of that one. He's to the 10. And he just got drilled. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Balance and they can't connect. Vogel was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25 yard line. Second down. Tackled after decent pickup.
They're about four yards away here on third down. Open field tackle. First down. So at the end of three, 14 apiece. from their own 44-yard line. First down. They'll make the sack. it a loss of three yards on the play. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Young drops back to pass, and he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. He's looking to pass. Going long. No, incomplete. Intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. Pino awaits the snap. Bring him down at the 33. This drive will start at the 33 yard line. Defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for it. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 31. Here's a run. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From their own 43 yard line. It's first down. Ready, he makes it out to maybe the 46 yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. Here's a running play. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 36-yard line, first down.
Second and 13. Ball on the 39-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Brothers takes the delayed handoff. He's at the 30, and he's level at the 21. So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line. They bring him down in the backfield. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 23. had it intercepted. From the 23-yard line, third down. Got to be hard for the offense to even hear the play call. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. It's fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. go to work at the 21 yard line just under two to go in the game going deep lays it out there inside the 30 they may not catch it the 10 there's a huge touchdown makes the PAT. So with less than two to go in the fourth quarter, the score is 21-14, Stanford. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Cook from the seven. And he's taken down at the 27-yard line. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. We're now under two minutes to go in this game. A field goal does them no good. They've got to be able to come up with a touchdown, and it's about execution right now and a little bit of urgency from this quarterback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Fires it quickly. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. The defensive coordinator did a great job with the play call there. He put his defense in alignment in a position to be able to make a play on the football. Everything worked perfectly. They just dropped the football. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws it deep. And he got it to the sophomore. That's a gain of 31 on the play. That makes it first and ten. Well, I think this defense right now doesn't realize if it's going to be a run or a pass, and that's the perfect time to be able to call play action. 
This defense is on its heels. They're guessing with the offense. That time they guess wrong, and the result is a big play for the offense. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Up the middle. And they make the stop at the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. From the 30-yard line. First down. He heaves it to the end zone. And it's caught for the touchdown. And Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed in the, in the hands to make the play for the touchdown. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You've got one team fighting for overtime, another one who wants this thing over with now. These seconds should be pretty thrilling. We have less than a minute to go. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 40. Stanford will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 40. Looking to throw. He lets it go. Wait, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Back to pass. Bennett, the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. Good tackle there in space. Campbell picks him up around seven yards with that catch. That makes it fourth and four. Pino is waiting for the snap. Cook makes it the 15, and he just got stood up right there. They could take a shot or two, 
But with this little time left on the clock, they may just want to take a knee and play for overtime. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Rawls back to throw. Nice catch first down, and he's knocked out. And a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. And I think they're going to take one last shot at the end zone here. He heaves it deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. Well, that's the end of regulation, and this game is still unsettled, so we're going to overtime. From the 25-yard line, it's first down. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, time to get you up to date on what's going on in Houston. This one was tight. And for Newsom, a huge day with four touchdown strikes. Reese, we're tied at 21 in this one. Second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick out to his receiver. He's tackled at about the 19-yard line. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. And this crowd is going crazy. He drops back. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 13-yard line, first down. Inside handoff. And now the ball is loose. And look at the big guy go. Touchdown, Cardinal.
that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Stanford 27, Washington State 21. 21. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? This is the kind of game you just love if you're a fan. Exciting, hard fought, coming right down to the end and then some. Stanford was looking at a mirror image across the field today. I'm not at all surprised that this game went on as long as it did. Here's a look at our player of the game. EA Sports will donate $10,000 in his name to his school's general scholarship fund. For Stanford, they win their seventh game, bringing their record to 7-2, and two, and they push for a bowl berth. And for the Cougars, a crushing Thank loss, you, and their today's shot today's at perfection game, ended today. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. We want to thank you for being with us. For my partners, Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews and EA Sports, Brad Nessler saying goodbye.